Representing. It's up to you if you guys want to say okay or not. It's fine. Um, yeah, I wanted to record it. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this on um page. So if you go, you guys see my screen right now? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Student view. So if you go to pages, I will have tonight's video here somewhere. Be under pages. So the, I was thinking. Do you want us to turn off the noise? Oh yeah, I think that would be great. Yeah, why don't you guys mute for a little bit? And then I'll stop periodically and ask if you have questions. And I there's a chat button over there. Um, I'm sure you guys see it. Oh, up in the upper right, there's that chat button. So you could uh, you could also ask questions that way. Um, who's not muted? Oh, how do I say your name? Wait, oh, let me try it. Is it Chalice? Yes. Did I say it right? Tell me how. Uh, uh, oh, you're not muted. Okay. So if you look at the very bottom middle, uh -huh. the left is the mute button, like the microphone. Uh -huh. uh, the mic Okay. That was it? Yep. Oh, got quiet. Okay. Um, yeah, and then the, the chat's up in the upper right. Um, okay. Let me share my screen. Okay, so I guess the first thing that I was thinking about, and we don't have to, we don't have to have an answer right now, is... Um, what time to have our meetings, like if I should make it just night or if I should do one day of the week in the daytime and one day of the week at night. Um, I want you to, um, I'd like for you to come one of the days, although I'm going to be lecturing just like a regular class, but I'm probably not going to go, well, I'm not going to go three hours. I'm going to go maybe an hour because I already – <clears throat> made a video and I already posted it. So um, I'm going to go, like when we do these things, I'm going to go a lot faster and maybe it'll be a time to um, answer questions. So right now I was thinking around six would be the best for you guys, but I'm free all day. I don't really care what time it is. But maybe if you guys have like other times other than six, you could like put it up in the, the chat and we can see if there's a lot of people that want to do morning instead. I'm good. I'm good with any time. And then days of the week, I'm thinking like Monday and Thursday. Um, so right now, just thinking Monday, Thursday at 6, 6 to 7. But that, I'm definitely open to changing that to anything. So... Um, seems like you guys are okay. So what I'm going to do tonight is go over the syllabus, um, talk about the class, and then um, I'll talk a little bit about the endocrine system, and, um, and we'll see. Yeah, I think so. I think so, too. I was thinking, yeah, you might be right, like one evening and one morning. That way, if if somebody, if you guys are still working, then at least you can hit that morning that one time. So I, I really want you to be here one time of the week because we still have to. I'm not taking roll, but I still have to account for attendance. So if you can make one of the classes, then that'll be good. All right. Let me get... I know I've kind of left that open. We didn't have like a definite time. I'm gonna wait for you guys to kind of email and um, 
just think about it and we'll have we'll have that later. Maybe give me a couple of days to come up with a definite times. But I want to see what you guys kind of think. Um, the home page on Canvas opens up to the syllabus. And uh, you can download it here. This is my email. Oh, I didn't give you. If you're in lab, then the syllabus in lab has my Skype number. This is my um, office hour. I mean, my office phone, which is useless. Um, actually, you know what? I, I've got a, um, let me give you my, got like a, a Google number, which rings to my phone. Let me, let me give that to you. Um, the very second that I find it. That is so easy. All right, fine. I'll, I'll email it to you, or I'll, I'll put it on an announcement. In fact, I might even have it there. Uh, no. So if you look on the lab, which I'm not going over tonight, but if you look on the lab syllabus in the opening announcement, you probably have it in the email for those of you that are in lab. My, my phone number is there. Admit. Um, my phone number is there. So, um, yeah. And um, go ahead and call anytime. If I don't answer, text, leave a text or text me or leave a voicemail and I'll get right back to you because I get a lot of spam calls. So, um, you know, just, so email, I, I'm monitoring that all day. Um, phone calls, fine, text, fine. If I don't get back to you, you have my permission to pester me and keep texting, for example. Like if you need an answer for something like right now, go ahead, you know, go ahead and just keep harassing me. So it's fine. It's totally fine, especially under the circumstances. Um, so that's my contact info, email, um, phone number. I'll get the updated phone number to you. I'll post it as an announcement. Um, I'm assuming y'all took AMP1 and you probably had Steve Waddell and you just got done with it. The book. If he made you use the um, Torah book, that's fine. Both of these books are the same. This one down here, OpenStax, is a free version, right? It's slightly different. The chapters are different. For example, the chapter we're starting on now is chapter 18. In OpenStax, it's chapter 17, so it's like one off. Right, so the first chapter we're doing is the endocrine system. So it's chapter 18 in one book. He used to give you an online version of this tutorial book. So that's great if you got the free version. Otherwise, you can use this free version. I'm going to click on it. It usually doesn't open. Looks like it's going to this time. So this opens to apparently a book that a lot of people are using because it's not opening. Here we go. So this is the OpenStax version. Um, chapter 7. Oh, okay. So go to Table of Contents. Apparently I've got to open up to Chapter 1. I'm working on it. Let's see. What chapter is... No, I was one off. There we go. So chapter 17, endocrine system. That's where we're starting. So you just can kind of read through it. Or you could download the um, the PDF. You do not have to buy it. They have a thing here saying buy it. This is all this is all free. Right? So this is the same book. This is the endocrine system. In fact, the PowerPoint slides that I'm going to use tonight are going to be off of um, OpenStax, but they're both the same. So that's the book. Um, we're doing quizzes, exams, and a final. 
three quizzes, three exams, and a final. So how this is going to work is every Friday, I will put the quiz up for the exam. I'll put it up, and it'll drop off on Tuesday. So it's Friday morning. So really like Thursday night, a minute after midnight, it shows up. So you've got all day Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all day Tuesday. It'll drop off Tuesday at 11.59. So that gives you five days. The vast majority of you are going to do it on Tuesday. Um, but, you know, you've got five days to take it. You're wondering what kind of questions they are. I don't know. <laughs> um, multiple choice, a lot. But I will want I will want to do some essay questions, and um, so I'll probably mix it up. I mean I don't really know yet. I'm I'm definitely going to talk about the, the subjects that I am going to put on the test. For example, um, sorry, my son. Okay, hold on. Let me. Okay, so um, for example. Um, the endocrine system, there's only so many ideas. There's about 10 ideas from the chapter. So I will break them all down and let you know, okay, I'm going to ask about this or I'm going to ask about that, right? And as we go through, I'll also tell you, okay, this is something that, you know, I want you to know. Um, so they're all through Canvas. If you go to quizzes right here, I think I have stuff set up, but I, do, I don't have any questions no questions in it right now so but you'll see they're all here right so none of them are available I haven't made any of them yet I have to start making them probably by tomorrow um, the final is okay cumulative don't freak out all right it's cumulative but I'm gonna make it from previous test questions like you're going to be ready for it right I'm going to tell you I'm going to say you study this and I'm going to pull questions off of that that and that like you're going to know for the most part what's on it right there might be a little bit of the whatever we're working on after exam three there might be some of that on the final but that that you won't know that you'll have to study but the rest of it yeah you're going to know I'm trying not to rock don't rock, don't rock. Okay. Um, let me go back home. Do you guys have any questions so far? You can unmute if you do. Okay. Um, oh, look how many of you uh, took your videos off. Oh, no, you guys have videos on. That's okay. Yeah. About study guides, are you going to post any study guides? Uh, no, but um, I'll do like an oral study guide during these sessions. So okay. you'll have a study guide. If I put, I'm, I, every, everything I'm doing, I'm trying to, I want you to take this information and put it in your permanent memory so i'm trying to like sometimes when i put a study guide people just wait for the study guide and also they think it's going to be the exact questions and so i'm trying to get you to to learn the stuff yes yes but, no. but i will do it in class like you're going to know what i'm going to ask that's i guess that's really the question like will we know what the questions you're going to ask because what's mm -hmm. annoying? Other, yeah, go ahead. Thursday, Thursday night at seven, I have a class, uh, reimbursement and billing, and I don't know what Miss Michelle uh, Parker Johnson's going to do because I she hasn't really told us anything about the class yet. So I, I don't know when that's going to start or how that's going to go. So I'm you thinking, know? I'm thinking right now Monday Monday night at six, and um, yes, and then Thursday we'll do maybe late morning and and keep in mind we're recording this stuff right so i'm going to record this and, and 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 drop it online so if you miss it it's not like you're missing the information okay you'll be able to watch it later 
I'm reluctantly saying that because I don't actually know how I'm gonna present. Like I, I know I'm recording. I just don't know how it's gonna, how I'm gonna. Um, I don't know if it's going to my Google Docs or where, but. Cool, it's on YouTube. Hmm? <laughs> Are they time? Um, uh, good question. Yes. So, I I want to leave you enough time. And, and timing tests are really difficult for you guys because you get nervous when you see that clock. It's, it's, it's horrible. It's traumatic for people, and I understand that. So I have that. Like I don't want to do that to you and make you all nervous. I have on the other side our tendency to want to um, look up everything. <laughs> so if I give you three hours, you're gonna, you know, some of you are going to take three hours, and you're not going to study anything. You're going to jump on. And you're gonna to try to course hero this or chag or whatever you're gonna use, and that's just what people do. Um, and I, again, I want you to have stuff stuck in your head. You're gonna to have to learn all this, one way or the other. Eventually, you're gonna get into your nursing program or respiratory, or if you're billing and coding, I'm sorry, you're never gonna use this again. So, um, I don't know what to do for you guys, but. For the, for the rest of you, you're going to need this, right? I, I took out all of the filling. This is all meat, no hamburger helper. It's just hamburger. So um, I took out all the stuff that I don't think you'll ever see again. So the stuff that we present, you're going to see a lot. So um, there was a question that someone had. Oh, timed. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to time it, but I'm going to try to figure out a, a good time so that you can, it's enough time, right? If I were to give this to you in class, whatever test it is, most people finish it in 20 minutes. You know, all my A's and F's, they finish like in the first 15 or 20 minutes. And then B, C's and D's take longer. Um, but usually even the slow people among you, the ones that just can't turn in anything until the end, no matter what, you take 40 minutes, so, you know. But the thing is, when I do it online, it just makes it worse. You get nervous about it. And I understand. I get nervous, too. I would. Um, yeah, all right. Um, don't cheat. I'm limited, to be honest. We decided to not go with a lockdown browser. Canvas does have the ability to, the camera is like looking at you or if you go off the page, it knows. There is a log, but it's not magic, right? I mean, if, if, if you wanted to have another screen open, it's possible. If you wanted to have your notes, it's possible, it's online, but I'm making the questions myself, so you know either you're not going to find them on Quizlet. Um, so I want you to keep that in mind. You're going to have to. You really do need to study, and and it's just not like an introduction to biology class. It's it's you know we've stepped it up a little bit. So Uh, did you have, guys have any questions? One of you is not muted. About to find out. Can you guys see all this? Oh, you are muted. All right. Somebody jumped in there. Uh, okay, let me go back. Um, okay, so what you see this stuff's in blue. So when you click on endocrine system, that should bring you to... See if it works. A video. This, by the way, the endocrine system is like a really shitty chapter to give you guys coming out the gate because it's, it tends to be, I don't think it's the hardest one at all. I don't, but you guys tend to think it's the hardest one by far, right? And maybe because it's, it's the first chapter of the semester, um, I don't know. It, it might be a lot of information. It, it tends to be the one that the students 
like the least, right? So keep that in mind. Don't look at the endocrine system and say, oh man, this whole class is going to be really like super hard. I'm also throwing you a sucker punch. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, this video I made some time ago and I was sick and it's super boring, but I'm going to try to make another one, but I will do something like this for every chapter, right? So, um, I have to make content. So, um, as we go, I'll be making new content. So you're going to have the videos that, that the recorded videos like we're making now, and then you're going to have videos that I've already pre-made. So synchronous and asynchronous. This endocrine system is a three-part horrible thing. I think they're about 20 minutes each, so something like that. So you can get it by pages, um, or you can just scroll down here to what we're doing every week and do that, right? So that that quiz one will take you to the first quiz. Endocrine system will take you to the endocrine system notes. If you look at week, the second week here, so you're seeing endocrine system in exam one. I'm guessing that exam one will cover only the endocrine system, but I mean, I don't, we might get to blood, right? This is like, I don't know, I don't know how fast or slow we're going to go, but this is the order we're going in. Endocrine, blood, heart, blood vessels, lymphatic, respiratory, digestive, urinary. So order we're going to go. if you look in your book, it's just following the order of the book, either 17 or 18, depending on what book you're using, and it just sequentially, right? So it's actually a good system, so I keep to it as well. Um, so attendance, I'm saying I'll be holding an hour of class yeah. three days a week. Yeah, question? Hey, April. Do you have a question? No. Okay. If I don't, if you guys do have a question and I couldn't hear you, I keep going. Just put it in, um, put it in the chat. Did you have any questions? I think your mic's on. Oh. All right. So, yeah, sometimes when I get going, I don't hear you guys talking and. April. Can you hear me? April. You don't hear me? That's right. We'll work it out. Oh, I'm muted. I can hear myself, though. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. Look, this is like, this might not work. We're going to go with Zoom if this doesn't work. I've got another system, but. Um, I wanted to try this. So most of you can hear me. All right. Okay. All right, I'm going to go back. So sometimes I get rolling, and if you want to stop me with a question, unmute yourself, yell it in there. Get me to stop. Or, um... Uh, put a, um, you know, do a chat and it'll pop up on my screen and I'll see it. So definitely stop me. Don't, you know, because sometimes I'll just get going and going. So y'all you, stop me as much as you want. So, um, yeah. So anyway, um, this is showing the due days of the test. They're all Tuesday with exception of this last one. But that's not the only day to take it, right? Because I'm opening them up on Fridays. This last one down here, I'm going to open that up on Monday, I believe. But the rest of these, the quizzes and exams, I'm, I'm opening them up Friday or Thursday midnight, Friday morning. And then um, they'll close on these days at 11.59. So, um, Thirty minutes, not bad. That's kind of what I wanted to spend on it. You guys got any questions about the syllabus or what we're going to be doing this semester?
Um, Google Drive doesn't really do anything. Discussions, I don't have a setup, but you guys can discuss something if you want. Um, I think that's about it, really. You know, announcements, pages, grades. Um, I've got grades set up. I'll have it set up that when you take things, it'll give you the total score as you go. All right, so you never need to know how, how am I doing in the class. It's, it's going to be um, worked out. So quizzes are 30%. So there's three quizzes, 10% each. Exams are 15% of your grade each. And then the finals, 25% of your grade. That might stress you out. Oh, final exam, 25%. Don't look at it that way because um, it's actually a chance for you to redeem yourself and I'm not out to ask you every single thing about the whole semester, right? I'm going to be prepping you for that final. I'm not trying to fail you guys. I'm trying to get you to spend some time on this class every day or almost every day and um, learn a lot of stuff that you're going to take with you to your next program because you do not, you do not want to be like in nursing school and then trying to um, – learn about the pituitary gland, right? You want to just leave that aside because you're going to have enough stuff to worry about once you get in. Um, so you don't need to do an overview of anatomy and physiology. So um, I guess I'll start. Just think, is there anything I'm missing? So I'm going to prep you and I want you to fail. Oh, I want you to um, work on this. Uh, you should... People that spend a little bit of time every day do way better than someone cramming. You're going to spend three hours. I would rather break that three hours up every day. You'll get a lot more out of it. I know that's easier said than done. I know. But um, it, makes a, um, it makes a big difference. So try to, try to set some time aside and um, work on this stuff. And if you're at home all day like you're not working or anything and you're stuck at home you definitely need to set time set time aside because not working staying home if you haven't done it before man, it can sink you i've, I've done it because because i'm a teacher I've, I've taken summers off and i'm like oh i'm gonna do this and this and this no man if you don't schedule time out and have a like a routine you're you're just gonna lay around and and um you're going to watch everything that Netflix has and not change your clothes and you're going to have food on your shirt. It, 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 it'll happen. I've been there. I really want to eat all those grits now. I, I'm not going to care about any of that stuff while I'm teaching. Um, yeah, I've been there. So don't, you know, set some time aside to do all this stuff. Otherwise you just get depressed when you get in that mode. So that's from somebody that has sat at home for a whole summer. It was not what I thought it was going to be. Um, studying every day, you'll feel a lot better. You do not want like stupid tests hanging over your head. Oh, the test is in two days. I got to study tonight, right? And then what happens? You don't study. And then you wake up the next day, and now you're even more stressed out. All right, so... Just spend a little bit of time every day, and you're gonna, it's going to be so much better. If you can read the material before class, you're even, way, you're even much, much better, right? Because you read it, you're not going to understand everything. I mean, look at some of this stuff. It's a bunch of crap. What is this interleukin one? It's too much crap to remember, right? So you don't have to, like, learn it all when you read it, but you're going to pick up things, and then I'm going to go over it again. So, and then, you know, maybe you don't understand something and then I start going over it and then, then, oh yeah, yeah, I didn't understand that. And then you ask me about it. Um, but when you read this chapter or, or you could just watch the videos, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's a lot to remember. Um, and you don't have to remember all of this. Um, all right. Let me, let me go, let me close this. I opened a PowerPoint.
Okay, I'm going to spend about 20 minutes just going over this, and let's see how it does. Um, can you guys, hopefully you guys can see, if you can't see my PowerPoint at any time, just, um, oh, that didn't screen it. Just um, let me know. All right. So I'm using OpenStax, but this is the same material that's in Chatora, the, the book that you might have used last semester. Chapter 18 in that book, chapter 17 here, same thing. This is your endocrine system. You probably left off with nervous system, right? And um, I don't know why I just didn't think of doing that. I just shut my cam off for a second. Oh, this is so much better than teaching in class. When I teach in class, I got to like turn around and face the board to eat. I'm doing it right in front of you. Okay, so the endocrine system kind of joins with the cardiovascular system, I'm, with the nervous system. Think about fight or flight, right? So there's a snake in the when you do, you run out, or you could fight and kill the snake, right? That's nervous system, right? That initial reaction, you see a snake, you bolt. That's all nervous system, right? Your body doesn't have time to, like, do chemicals, right? And so you're out. But by the time you hit the door and get out into the front yard, now, now your adrenaline starts kicking in. That's the chemical part, right? So they work together, right? You have a stimulus, something that caused you to get all freaked out, right? And so that was the snake in your, your eyes and it sent nerves into your brain and then your brain processed that and it sent nerves down to your legs, go. That's all nervous system. But by the time, you know, a few seconds into it, then it's adrenaline, right? Your heart's beating fast. Um, you got more energy, um, your blood's just like pumping and, and, and you're pumping energy like ATP. You're pumping this energy through your body and you're feeding your legs with like more energy. That's adrenaline. That's chemical, right? So the, so they, they kind of work together. This is kind of like a natural, um, subsequent chapter to um, the nervous system, but we're done talking about the brain, but I'm just saying. And then when you get outside, or if you realize it wasn't actually a snake, once the problem's over, then you start to chill out and calm down. So we call that negative feedback, meaning that took care of whatever the negative thing was, right? We could look at it like this with blood sugar. Um, people like when you eat a lot of, sh um, food, your blood sugar goes up, right? But for most of us, it's cool because we release insulin. So what was the problem? Um, high blood sugar because you ate food. That's the negative thing. It's too high, right? And then you release insulin. That's going to lower the blood sugar. The question is, how long do we release insulin for? Do we just keep releasing it and dumping it and dumping it? No. Release it until the problem's over. Once your blood sugar's normal, problem solved. Problem solved, no more insulin. That's negative feedback. Um, so a lot of these hormones, most of them, work on negative feedback. There is something called positive feedback. And um, I'll give you an example. But most of the time, negative feedback. Just remember, negative feedback, that's how your body regulates. Right? We like to get things balanced out. I don't want low blood sugar. I don't want high blood sugar. I want it nice and in the middle. Negative feedback. Sometimes it's positive feedback. When you're having a child, that's <laughs> you're not going to negative feedback that baby. right? That would be, oh, stick it back up in there. Let's forget it happened. No, that baby's coming out. That's it. Okay, well, if it's coming out, let's make some more hormones. Like, let's really 
help out and let's just get it over with, right? So the baby starts coming out. You start secreting hormones. That causes you to secrete even more hormones. Some hormones cause what's called like a you know positive feedback loop. So some hormones cause you to secrete even more hormones and, and, until you finish. Most of the time, that was negative. Problem solved. No more hormones. So, um, so the endocrine system is working to keep this balance, homeostasis. Like we we're using the example of blood sugar. We don't want it to be high. We don't want it to be low. We want it to be right at your normal level, somewhere around, let's say, 100. Right. So um, that's what your endocrine system does. It 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 balances. It always wants to balance out homeostasis. You don't want to be too cold, otherwise you're going to shiver to make heat. You don't want to be too hot, you're going to sweat to try to cool your body off. Right? That's homeostasis. So you'll see that. We're, oh, it's right here. So endocrine gland and cells play an important role in homeostasis. That's what I'm talking about. Balance. Keep the balance. Hormones are made of proteins. So you don't have to worry about all this. Most hormones are made of proteins. There are some that are made of um, lipids, fats. So protein hormones, I'm, I'm not going to ask you all this. Just know that they're made of hormones, I mean of, of, of proteins, because that, that means something. You'll see later. right? But you can see here they're called amine, peptide, they all mean protein, protein, protein. This one at the bottom, steroid, that's lipid. So they're made from cholesterol. So some hormones are made from cholesterol, fat. Some, The rest of them are made from proteins. You know, we didn't even talk about what hormones are. Um, are things that are released that affect different parts of your body. So think of adrenaline. When you're running from that snake, adrenaline affected your leg muscles. So it wasn't made by your leg muscles, but it affected your leg muscles. Um, steroid hormones, so testosterone, progesterone, those affect something else in your body. Right, so... Um, that's what hormones do. Hormones are chemicals that change something about your cells. They change the way that your cells act. So and the question is, well, what do you mean by change the way your cells act? Well, you make them do something that they used to not do or stop doing something that they did. So you make them start something or stop something. That's, that's it. Testosterone grow facial hair. So it makes you do something that you didn't do before. Um, so some of them are, some, some hormones are lipid, lipid soluble, meaning that they hang out with fat, cholesterol. So all the cholesterol hormones are, you see down here at the bottom, testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, um, and then steroids. So if you've ever heard of like cortisone, hydrocortisone, like steroids that you could buy, like steroid cream that you could buy, that that's what, you know, our body makes that too. So it's pretty much steroids and all the sex hormones, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. Um, I feel like I'm missing one name, but... Um, Vitamin D, that's a little side one. That's a hormone. And then um, <clears throat> steroids. So we'll talk about all those. I just want you to know some hormones are lipid soluble. They, they hang out with fats. Some are water soluble. They hang out with water. So you've got two different types of hormones in your body. The lipid soluble are the ones here at the bottom, steroid hormones. Water-soluble are all the proteins. 
right? And don't get hung up on all the particular um, hormones right now. We're going to talk about them. What they do, they change hormones, change what the cell does. I don't want to go over time. I'm going to go 10 more minutes, and then I'm going to stop. Um, oh, you know what? Does anyone have any questions? No, oh, it would suck if I lost you guys like 10 minutes ago. No, you're still there. Hi, everyone. No questions? Good. That's not good. You can still see my screen? Yeah. yeah, did you say that negative feedback was how your body balances? What? Ne yeah, so negative feedback is what like keeps the balance. It's what shuts the whole thing off. You know, the snake is what started the adrenaline. What's going to stop the adrenaline? Negative feedback. So, it would be like turn the water on to wash your hands and then turning it off once you finish. Same, that yeah, kind of concept. Yeah. yeah. Basically, you know. <laughs> Think of like your, 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 your blood sugar being high and then insulin lowering it, right? And then so... Just the, the 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 thing that stimulated insulin was high blood sugar. The th now then the question is, what's going to stop it? We know what started insulin. What's going to stop insulin? No more high blood sugar. Right. Once the blood sugar is normal, no more ins no more insulin. So that keeps it. That keeps your body normal. Right. Your blood sugar is going to go up. Insulin, but we don't want the insulin to make a tank. So insulin's got to stop sometimes. So once you get it at that normal level and it's like no, it's leveled off, that's it. Negative feedback. No more insulin. Okay. This is this might be the last thing I'm going to leave you with. Um, how <clears throat> how do hormones um, let's make sure. Yeah. All right. This is, this is, this is a little bit difficult. Um, how do hormones work? Well, they change the way the cell behaves. They make the cell, as I was saying, do something that it used to do that it, I mean, that it didn't do before. So it makes the cell do something new or it makes it stop doing something that it was doing. So how does the hormone do that? There's like two ways to do it, um, and it depends if the hormone's water-soluble or if the hormone's lipid-soluble. They work in different ways because if you look at this picture here. If I can make this bigger. This is a, this is a cell, this round thing, and this purple thing inside is the nucleus of the cell. And this black line right here is like the membrane of the cell. The membrane of the cell is made from, I don't know if you remember, phospholipids. So it's a lipid. This black line going around here is a lipid. All this stuff inside, water. But this is lipid. Here's a blood capillary. Right? And then... And then um, so in here, here's a hormone. So if you think about hormones, water, um, blood is water, water-based. So you can't put a lipid-soluble hormone in water, in blood, because it's um, water and oil don't mix, right? So the, the hormones made from like an oil or a fat, lipid, but the blood's water. So this hormone, which is like this little round circle, it's riding on top of a protein right now. You can't see the protein, but it's on, it's on the back of a protein. That's how it rides through the blood. So the question is, how does this hormone affect the cell? How does it change the behavior? It's going gonna, it's gonna to go out of the capillary. It's going to get to this membrane. And it's going to squeeze right through and go in. 
because this is made from this black line is made from lipids. That hormone's made from lipids, so it goes right through. Then it makes its way to the nucleus, right? That's where your DNA is. But once it gets in your nucleus, it's going to change your DNA. Whatever your DNA is, that is going to affect how the cell behaves. So the DNA, it's the job of the DNA is to make, it's got, it's like the uh, blueprints for the proteins that your body's going to make. So, it, you know, does your body make hair? Hair is a protein. Well, how do you know what kind of hair to make? Do I make it gray, black, curly, straight? Do I make no hair? Like, how, how do you know? The, well, the answer is all in this DNA. It's got the code. You know, when is it time to stop making hair? Or when is it time to make your hair gray? The answers are all here in that DNA. Why is my point in that? There it is. So this hormone will go into the nucleus and it messes with the DNA. It changes the genes. We call that altering gene expression. So it, mess it, it alters gene expression. In other words, it turns genes on or it turns genes off. So for example, um, the gene to grow hair, all right, we're going to turn it off. Right, so the hormone would go in and just mess with the DNA and turn things on and turn things off. So um, that's how they work. And by turning the by turning your DNA on or off, not your DNA, but parts of your DNA genes, by turning genes on or off, you change the DNA. That's lipid soluble. So lipid soluble hormones, they have a difficult time going in the blood because they don't mix with the water of the blood. But they have an easy time going into the cell and making the cell change its behavior. The harder one, the one that's a little bit more difficult is this next one, water soluble hormones. It's, there's, look at these six steps right here. There's no easy way around it except for you two, this is the hardest thing that I'm going to give you today. The only, the easy way, the only, the only way to, to learn this is just to start to memorize this, right? It's step, there's steps. Here's our hormone triangle thing. It's water soluble. So as far as going in the blood, that's easy. Blood's made from water. Hormones, water soluble. They fit together. But, the membrane of the cell is made from lipids. So this water-soluble hormone cannot squeeze through the lipid. It stops right at the surface. So this hormone gets to the surface. And on the surface, it's a receptor is a protein. It's like a dock, right? And there's certain docks for certain ships, right? So not... You know, you can't dock a um, container ship into a dock that like a fishing boat goes into, right? So they each, different docks are for different types of ships. So it's like that. That's what receptors are. They're very particular. This, whatever receptor this is on the cell is waiting for that particular hormone, whatever it is, right? It's like a lock and a key. So anyway, that hormone touches the receptor on this cell and that's going to activate it right on the other end see if you can see like the end of the pointer there that's called the g protein and it activates it so the hormone this hormone touching the receptor activates that g protein this is where it gets kind of complicated this is the sucker punch i was telling you about the G protein is going to activate an enzyme that's sitting inside of the cell. Called a, well, here they're calling it adenylyl or adenylate cyclase, you know, um, which is an enzyme. And I know it's an enzyme because it ends with ASE. So it activates this enzyme called adenylate or adenylyl cyclase. 
that enzyme is going to take ATP. If you remember, ATP, and it's going to convert it into this other enzyme called CAMP. And, and you don't call it cyclic AMP. You could just know it as CAMP. So I know complicated it is. So we have like one thing leads to another, like number one is leading to number two, number two is leading to number three, like that. It's like a chain reaction. So the whole semester is not like this slide, right? This just happens to be one of the, once in a while you hit these hard things, right? So this is one of them. So G protein activates adenylate cyclase. Adenylyl cyclase is going to convert ATP to this other hormone that we call cyclic AMP or CAMP. CAMP is going to turn around and activate another enzyme, right? So we've got an enzyme that activates an enzyme and an enzyme activating another enzyme. I know, messed up. And that enzyme is going to turn around and activate another enzyme called protein kinases. Or protein kinase. So all these are enzyme, right? Number three, adenylate cyclase enzyme. CAMP, protein kinase enzyme. Now five is going to activate six. So six, it says here, Protein, and I'm almost done here, protein kinases phosphorylate, and I'm going to tell you what this means, phosphorylate different proteins. Phosphorylate means give energy to, because that's what enzymes do. They give energy to other things in your body. If I want to grow hair, the enzyme goes to my, um, the cells in my scalp, and it touches them and it like transfers all the energy into it and then I can grow hair. Or if I want to move my muscles, I need an, 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 an enzyme, I mean, um, ATP, phosphorylate, my, my leg muscles become phosphorylated. Hold on. The cells of my muscles become phosphorylated. Like ATP goes and delivers the energy to my leg muscles so that I can... Um, you know, run. So that's called phosphorylated to give energy to. So enzymes are going to deliver the energy from the ATP into the cell. I know I messed that up. I felt it too. So I'm going to try that again. Protein kinases phosphorylate enzymes that are going to activate proteins. So protein kinases, instead of phosphorylate, we're going to replace the word. Protein kinases give energy to proteins in the cytoplasm. Those proteins are going to change the activity of the cell. So the very last thing here, because I'm already kind of over the time I wanted to go, let me do a comparison. So just leave this for a second. By the way, I'll go over this again. This slide here, how does the cell change its behavior? Well, the DNA gets changed. And because of that, it makes proteins or it stops making proteins. So it's all about making proteins or stop, you know, not making proteins. That's how that cell's changed. Let's go to this one. How is this cell changed at the end of the day? Enzymes activate proteins or stop activating proteins. So it's all about the proteins. It's just that here, there's nothing about the DNA. We're not changing genes. We're just, there's proteins in your cell. They're hanging out. They're just waiting to get turned on and charged, right? So um, the enzymes are going to charge them up and get them going. Here on the previous slide, they're, Proteins are getting made. They're not already existing. You got to make them. That's how water-soluble 
I'm sorry, that's how lipid soluble hormones work. They cause your cell to make a protein or to not make a protein. Water soluble hormones, the proteins are already there. It just activates them, you know, energizes them, or or doesn't. So let me get off of that. Um, let me close this down. Let's see if you're all still here. Oh, you are. Oh, and look, man, I got more people than when I started. It's usually the opposite. Usually I end up with like half the people that I started with. Y'all stuck around. Um, that probably was confusing at the end. That last part, I get it. It was. I would encourage you to do a couple of things between like now and Thursday. One, go to pages and watch video number, oh, click on endocrine system and watch my electronic ambient. Video number one, see, actually this one right here does it, right? So I'm the same thing that I'm doing with you right now, I'm doing it on this video. You could also watch this recording. You can also read it in your book. And don't be afraid to go to like YouTube videos, right? So some of them can do it better. Sometimes you have to step back and watch a crash course video on what is the endocrine system. Right? Maybe you're stuck there. And that's that's okay. I mean, I've done it. Everyone does it. So you guys have any questions? I'm going to stop sharing my screen. How did you guys feel about how everything ran the first night? Did you, did anyone have any like computer problems? You know, you can do this on your phone too. There's an app. So, um, Uh, Professor, I, I actually uh, find that just writing down everything you stated and going back and just reading over it, like about the lipid suitable and the water suitable, I actually had for lipid suitable, I had by changing the DNA. For water suitable, I had where cells behavior is changing. It activates proteins. Yes. It actually, it, it activates an enzyme. It activates an enzyme, which is going to activate a protein. I guess we should have gone over what enzymes were, but enzymes make everything happen. Just know that your body does not do a single thing without an enzyme. So, I mean, period. You don't blink without an enzyme. You don't grow a hair without an enzyme. Nothing happens without an enzyme. So, we'll talk about enzymes a lot in this semester. So, yeah, it, it activates enzymes that activate the protein. Um. Oh yeah, I had a, wait, I had a question. Oh, are we doing this for lab, the same thing? No, lab's a lot easier. If you guys haven't looked at lab yet, for those of you that are in lab, lab's a lot easier. There's no exams. It's, uh, it's, it's through Pearson and it's, it's, it's like work, you know, you work on your own. I would really urge you guys to do the lab the same time we're doing the chapter. Don't wait until endocrine system is finished and then you're starting the lab work that's not the point of it like the lab work will really help you in the lecture if anything i would suffer through the lab work before thursday it'll only take you i don't know let's say a half hour right let's say 45 minutes top tops right so don't wait and start endocrine once we're on the heart but that's not going to help you right so Lab's a lot easier. You guys lucked out with this online thing as far as lab's concerned. Um, yeah, so don't stress about lab. Any other questions? Will the test be multiple? Oh, that's an old test question. Yeah, mostly multiple choice to test, by the way, but not entirely. Um, let's see who's here. Oh, for you two phone number. Oh, you're probably on your phone. For you two phone number people that are calling in on the phone, 
Um, I don't know what to do. Um, if there's a way for you to put in your name next time, maybe do that. I don't know. I haven't thought about it yet. But it looks like this worked. You're free to do it on your phone. The videos that I'm making, watch those on your phone. Um, I'll try to upload most of this stuff to YouTube. And um, so let's plan on for those of you that can make it. Let's unless we decide differently. Unless I tell you differently, let's try to do 10 o'clock on Thursday. So we'll try to do 6 o'clock Monday, 10 o'clock Thursday. Try to make one of those, right? And and we're recording them, so it's not like the end of the earth if you miss it. I'm not trying to stress you out. Are you guys okay today? Yeah, 10 a.m. Thursday. So Mondays and Thursdays. I know that's like... I don't know. I just figured it's the easiest. Um, I, no, no, no. Do you guys want to do Monday? Look, look I'm sorry. I, you guys want to do Monday, Wednesday instead? Is that Does that sound better? Does it matter? I'm flexible any day. I mean. I yeah. thought to, 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 to space them kind of like midweek, that gives you more time to like study and ask questions. Because then like between Wednesday and Monday, that's like five days. I don't know. I was just thinking, we don't have to do anything. There's like no rules. Monday, 6 p.m., yes. There's no rules about how to do this. I mean, they, you know, we're just like you guys. You guys are like, oh, man, I didn't want to do this online, and now I'm doing it. We're, we, I wasn't planning to teach this online. So, yeah. So, yeah, 6 p.m. Monday, 10 a.m. Thursday. Unless there's a whole bunch of you that want to do something different. 6 p.m. Monday, 10 a.m. Thursday. Those are the two times of the week we'll meet for like an hour. Just make one of those. And I'll record them each time. Uh, if you guys don't have any questions, you're free to get off. If you have any questions, I'll stay on for and I'll stay on until you all get off. Don't forget to send us your phone numbers. Thank you. I will put the phone number in an announcement right after I get off. Thanks for coming on, everyone. See you guys. Good, good job, because I know this hasn't been easy for you guys. <laughs> Just want to give you a compliment, OK? You did a good job. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. See ya. <laughs> I have to figure out how to get off. How do I leave? <laughs> uh, where's the leave? If you look on the screen, it'll probably show up. Let's see. Red phone right in the middle. Red phone in the middle. Um, the bottom see. middle. My. Let me try this. Nope. Nope. I have no red phone. Where'd it go? You see stuff at the bottom? No, you know, I, I probably my my screen's probably larger because of my for my eyes, and it's probably off my screen because when I do the microphone, I have to like try to dig in there. Let me let me try this and see if it makes it smaller. There's no, no rush. I'm not going anywhere. All so. right, let, I'm gonna try. Let's see, right here. I'm gonna try this.